So guys, this is the first video of another mini series that I'm creating where we'll build a Golang scraper with GoQuery. And this is going to run in parallel with the other series that's going on, which is building a Go scraper uh, without using any uh, libraries, right? So, uh, but in this series, we're using a library called GoQuery. So that's the uh, most important differentiator here. And so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to show you different ways to uh, scrape things right and uh, these are all different exercises in the sense uh, in the sense i'm not trying to uh, do the same exercise but with different uh, approaches in the sense uh, i'm not using the same uh, website to scrape uh, without uh, libraries and with libraries what i'm doing is i'm uh, i'm use, uh, dealing with completely different exercises in the sense here we'll scrape some completely other uh, website so that you know you get an experience of how to work with different types of websites uh, when scraping right so scraping is not very straightforward uh, and once you start working at scale with scraping there will be many more challenges so that's why i wanted to show you different approaches using different libraries and uh, how to how to approach different websites right uh, so here what we'll do is we'll have a website called golangco.com right and then we want to print out all the post titles in the terminal that's what we want to do right uh, in this code and so we'll have our main function and then we'll uh, here we'll define the URL to be scraped, which is this basically. And then uh, we'll call another function called get latest blogs function. So we'll have two functions that means. And in this function, get latest blogs function, we'll have uh, we'll make a request uh, using this URL that we have defined. Uh, we'll make an HTTP get request, and then we'll get a body in response. The body will basically be uh, you know in HTML, but with GoQuery we'll be able to read it right and uh, perform operations on it so this will like i said we'll get in a readable document which will be html and then we'll be able to find elements by id for example dot post title is the id that this website is using to uh, you know uh, to basically tag their titles the post titles and that's what we want to use and for each of these so we'll iterate over these and for each of these we'll run a function now and for and each are uh, two different functions inside um, inside uh, this library go query so i'll show you the documentation of also of go query uh, in the next video so that you get an idea of what we're trying to do and then for each of these functions uh, for each of these uh, titles we'll run a function and then we'll extract the title and add the title to a list and the complete list of all the titles we'll then return it to our main function Right, so we started with the main function, we ended with the main function, and the main function itself will print f uh, or print everything to the terminal, all the list of uh, the titles. Right, so I hope this is quite clear and very very straightforward. This uh, is not rocket science because we're dealing with very small, simple websites. Uh, uh, these don't even have logins, but uh, but uh, like I said, you know, these are beginner friendly uh, scraping courses, uh, scraping videos. So um, if you want to stay updated on uh, the new videos that will come out in this small series, then do stay subscribed. And thanks a lot for watching.